Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a service on your Yamaha Drive and Drive 2. First thing you want to do is go drive your car. Get the engine good and hot. When that oil is hot, it'll be thinner and easier to suck out. And we're going to be using this vacuum extractor to suck the oil out. I call it a vacuum pump, but if you're actually looking it up online, search for a vacuum extractor. This one was about $80. You can find them a little bit cheaper on, on Amazon, and they have some electric ones that'll work too, but this is just what we use, and it works great for us. But save yourself a lot of time and headache by using one of these. The Drive 2s have a full skid plate underneath of the engine, and you have to remove that skid plate to be able to pull the drain plug out to actually drain the oil, which is kind of a headache. So we use the, the vacuum extractor, whether it's a Drive 1, Drive 2, fuel-injected, carbureted, doesn't matter. We use the extractor. It's quicker. It's easier. And... And you're going to save yourself a lot of time and headache by just getting one of these. You're going to be installing the oil extractor through the dipstick tube. So first thing you need to do is remove your oil dipstick. And then find the correct size tube that came with your extractor that will fit down that dipstick hole and shove it all the way down until it bottoms out and that's hitting the bottom of the engine. So when you start pumping this, it's gonna suck all the oil up. I usually pump it about a half a dozen times to get it going. And then you can let that pump while you're doing the rest of the service on your cart. The spark plug on these is located right in the center here. You remove the spark plug cap then I always use an air hose to blow off around that spark plug because there will be dirt and grass that accumulates around that. And these use a 13 16 spark plug socket and then I use a 3 inch extension on my ratchet. These use an NGK BPR2ES. I highly recommend using the NGK spark plugs. I've tried a lot of other different plugs. I've been a mechanic for 20 years now, and the NGKs are hands down the best spark plug for these small engines. So don't screw around with any champions or anything else. If you can get an NGK, get one. Next, we're gonna take a look at the air filter. On these newer Drive 2s, the air filter lid has these clips all the way around that hold it down. On the older Drive 1s, there's tabs that stick out on this side of the air box and holes in the side of the lid. So when you reinstall that air box, you have to hook one side on and then set it down and then clip it on. But on these newer ones, there's just clips all the way around. And the air filters are different between the Drive 1s and the Drive 2s. So not much difference, but there is a difference. So make sure that you get the right air filter for your machine. You can pull these filters up and out, and then there's this foam underneath that you can wash that. Use some like Dawn dish soap, wash it, let it dry really good. And then you don't need to put any oil back on that. Just put it in dry and Air filters, typically we can get a couple of years out of an air filter on these. You know, just blow it off if it's real dirty. When you're reinstalling your air filter lid, make sure that this zip tie that's sticking out from the back here is not stuck underneath of the back of your air filter lid. If it gets stuck underneath of there, that can allow dirt to suck in past there and ruin your engine. So a lot of times I'll just cut this zip tie, the, the end of it off back here so that we don't ever have to worry about that again.
If your cart is fuel injected, they have a fuel filter inside of the tank on the bottom of the fuel pump. So that's a non-serviceable filter. But if you have a carbureted cart, you'll have an inline fuel filter that'll be mounted right in between the fuel tank and the body up front here. It'd just be a quarter inch fuel line, just a clear fuel filter. Uh, you can pick those up at about any mower shop or online. Um, and those are directional. You'll have an arrow on it. And just make sure, think that the, the fuel is getting sucked out of the tank and going towards the engine. So make sure that the arrow on your fuel filter is pointed towards the engine. That's what direction the fuel is going. So replace that fuel filter. Um, and we do that every time that we do a service on these, which is, is at least yearly or sometimes even twice a year, just depending on how many hours you're putting on your cart. So our vacuum pump should be done pumping here. It started, you can hear it when it starts sucking air. I just kind of poke it around, make sure that we got everything pulled out of there. And then pull that out, wipe it off, move it out of your way. Now these carts hold one quart of 10W30 engine oil. I use, it's a Kohler 1030. It needs to be a small engine oil. I'm not going to get into the synthetic versus non-synthetic debate, but it needs to be an oil that is formulated for small engines, like lawnmowers. So do not put car engine oil in these, but these just hold one quart. So you're going to remove the fill cap here and dump your one quart of engine oil in. Then you always want to stick your dipstick back in there and double check. And these do have a, a maximum fill and a minimum fill line. So just make sure that your oil is between the hash marks. Ours is right at the full line. These machines do have a grease zerk on the front and rear clutch, the drive and the driven clutch. This grease zerk is pretty easy to get to, and you only do one pump of grease in these. That's it. The grease zerk for the rear clutch is going to be on the inside of the clutch, right down towards the center. If you spin it around, you can typically fill it with your finger and then be able to stick your hose in from the front there and get it snapped on that zerk. Same thing, that zerk takes one pump of grease. I do recommend doing a, a service at least once a year, if not twice a year, depending on how often you're using your car and if you're running it in a lot of real dirty or dusty conditions, you know, versus just being on the pavement all the time and only using it every now and then. You can get away with doing a service just once a year, but if you're driving this thing every day and it's getting used off-road or something like that, you're definitely going to want to service it more often and you're going to want to be keeping a, a close eye on your air filter if that needs to be replaced more often in dirty conditions. So we do have some videos coming out on, uh, on how to adjust the accelerator cable, the brake cables, um, being able to turn the governors up on these if you want to go a little bit faster. These also, you can change oil in the rear diff, so we'll be going over the, the oil change on that. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to hit the subscribe, the bell. Um, if you got some good value out of this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps our channel out a lot. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.